Hi, today I will show you how to install cooler on Lauti ES19. It's super easy to do it, so no worries. At first we have to remove rear motor, but like I said, no worries, you don't have to unpin any wires, just remove the motor. Now, super important thing, before you order a cooler, you have to check at what position is air valve. As you can see, over here we've got these middle screws. And in this case, air valve is moved a little bit to the left side of this screw. Sometimes we can find air valve that it will be somewhere over here, or maybe on the right side over here. And you have to choose right option of the cooler. So, this cooler being prepared that this hole for the air valve is moved a little bit to the left from this screw and as you can see it will fit just fine yes it will fit just fine but over here i've got a different cooler where the air valve was prepared to be above the screw so this one should be over here and as you can see in this case this one will not fit because on the way of the air valve is this part of the cooler so this one will not fit. So please check at what position is air valve. If it's moved a little bit to the left or maybe somewhere over here or maybe move it to the right or maybe it's above the screw. This is super important. If you are still not sure, then send me a support message and together we'll find the best option. But in my case, I know I've got a good cooler. So now we have to remove three screws. I will leave this one, which is close to air valve and I will re remove these two and this one they tied it pretty good i'm pretty sure they added some tight locker and maybe even silicon so this motor could be splash proof yep they added lots of tight locker so this is good sign and maybe i am wrong but i see a little bit of the seal some kind of silicon so yeah like i said before loyalty for me is quite good chinese brand you are buying quite powerful scooters with great working range for low price that's why i like to use them and also if i had like two times some problem like last time my lauti ti30 had the huge leakage on the front fork but i could easily order new front shock so fork actually so that's why i like lauti so much if you'd like to get my cooler you will find in the box of course cooler three long stainless steel screws, three stainless steel washers and three spacers. We have to place washers over here. It's not always working this trick, like in this case, because sometimes you can just place the, as you can see, washer and it will not pop out. But yeah, not always it's working. So in my case, this trick is working, just push the washers inside those spots and they should not pop out if you are not that lucky then place that kind of spacers over here so on those places where you remove the screws and then place the washer on it it's also working quite nice now it's time for the spacers place it on those spots where you removed the screws the long screws are going into the sockets Now slowly and gently place the cooler on the motor. This is the trickiest part because you have to place it on those spacers which actually don't want to cooperate today, as you can tell. Maybe next time I will use some kind of glue, it will be easier. Actually over here you have to use some force because the shell is holding the motor shaft but don't use it too much otherwise you can damage the thread inside the rim but yeah use some force but be delicate at the same time it's hard to say how how to tie those screws over the internet so at first those two simple washers are going on the sides this tire is so wide that it's touching the brake caliper so it's like super hard now to place this motor on the right spot but it's 
quite possible I did it before. At first you have to lose a little bit of this brake caliper. Now you have to place the disc on the pads. And then you can try to place this whole motor on the right spot. So on those frame holders, how to call them. Yes, yes, it's not very easy. Okay, we are going somewhere and it's done. Now this washer with this thing is going like this and you are using the nut to tie it. But before you tie the nuts, just place scooter on the floor so the wheels cannot be in the air. Just check how big is this cooler. Actually, this is the biggest cooler which I designed for is scoots. The print time of this version is around 16 hours. So yeah, it looks nice and I'm pretty sure that even if I will smash a little bit some rock, it should survive because the walls are quite thick. <laughs> This black matte color of the cooler looks decent, isn't it? Also, I do recommend Labricate suspension system on the back and on the front. When you receiving the screw, there is no any grease on all those moving parts. So the, at the beginning, the screws and the sockets are round, but without any grease, after a short time, those round sockets will more look like ellipse. So even if you tied the screws pretty hard, there will be huge loose. So I do recommend to lubricate all those moving parts. You can use simple grease for the bearing. I did video about this, just check the description, there will be a link. Also add some clean film around the shock. It will seriously extend lifespan of it because there will be no way that some sand or dust will get inside. By adding silicone around the deck, you can make this coat a little bit more splash proof. Just add silicone close to the inner walls, like in my case, and let it dry over the night. Of course, this coat will be still not waterproof, but it should survive some rain. Of course, ES18 got built in standard microphone charging ports, which are not the best ever, but you know already about this. So I changed it to my XT30 connectors, no surprise over here, but this time I use devil cups which are in orange color and transparent one just check this devil it looks super happy if actually devil can look happy all links you can find in the description so if you have any questions just leave it in comment section i will back to you and try to help see you in next one bros <laughs>